Hi everyone. So I wanted to take you through some steps for making a fun steam train, uh, steam engine train. So you can see here that I did my drawing and I added some extra cars. In the sample from Art Hub for Kids, they just did the two cars like that. You can add any details you want. You can change it to suit yourself. Um, in the sample from Art Hub for Kids, they were making these um, gingerbread style slash Christmas idea trains, but it can be done in any way with anything. You could make a birthday train, you could make a Hanukkah train, you can make a Diwali train, whatever it is that you want to celebrate, you can stick it in there. It could just be your favorite things going into the train. All right, so I'm going to take you through the steps of how to get started. And again, you don't need to do exactly what I do. You can just borrow some of the ideas and then you can fly in your own direction. So I'm going to make my train track. I'm going to make it semi straight not too straight just to make it a little more interesting and i'm going to actually i'm going to start with the wheels and you can see on the back of mine possibly that when i started first i didn't leave enough room in the front for what they call the cow catcher and i didn't leave enough room between the wheels so i started over here i worked in pencil then i went back and i outlined so you can choose how you want to do that so i'm going to start with that idea of the circle for the wheel and again I might have kind of not left enough room so I'm going to make my wheels a little smaller here like this and then you see here we turned them into mints we made a little dot in the center and then we made these curvy lines going around I'm going to leave that empty because maybe you want to make it a sports train and you're going to make those into basketballs or whatever so I'm going to use two lines to connect those wheels and I'm going to make a little line here and a little line here and then I'm going to come up turn that into a squarish rectangle and I always like to make it look a little more interesting so I'm going to add another little line there and then for the steam part I'm going to make a line here I tried to turn it in a cup of like hot mocha cocoa mocha whatever you want you can make yours I'm going to do that I'm going to come straight across kind of like the chimney we did in the gingerbread I'm going to come up come up straight across to horizontal, sorry, vertical lines. And I'm gonna even make a little more here like this. So I'm gonna just draw the basic drawing. You can add whatever you like. You could add cotton candy steam coming out. You could add steam off of a mug of hot cocoa, anything that kind of fits your theme. So once I've done that, I'm gonna make another big wheel here, like that. I'm gonna connect this again, and then I'm going to make a this time I might go a little different here. I made it kind of a separate piece. I might sure make sure they touch because I kind of want it to be attached, but that's up to you. Here I made it a little shorter. I'm gonna go a little higher here and a little narrower, but I definitely want to make it as big as the wheel. And then I'm gonna make a window for the conductor. Add a little shine mark to the window. I'm gonna add a little line here and I could add another little line here. I just like the way it gives it a little more visual interest. So now that is here, that is the beginning, the front of my train. In the sample, they just made one car. I'm gonna add two smaller ones, wheels, one, two, connect them again. I'm gonna make whatever it is I want to. You can make just about that big, that big, I'll continue that there. Up. Oops, and since I went a little higher, I'll do like that. So, so far, those are the features I've added to the train. Now in mine, in the sample, they made it that big. You can add any kind of details you want. You might only see part of my next train car. I'm gonna make almost the same size. I'm gonna connect them. I guess I should, uh, yeah, nope, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna go on, and you can see here, I have one, two, three. Here I have one, two, three, different sizes, different shapes, what I can put in it is different. I'm not gonna get too much into the details here. Uh, maybe I'll add one peppermint one, just so you can see how I did it. And I probably could transform that into a beach ball. Maybe my train is going to the beach, and I might have some beach chairs back there. I haven't decided yet. Uh, you can do day or night. You can decide what you want to add here. 
Here I added, somebody inspired me to think about snow on the ground. I added holiday lights. You don't need to do anything I did. You just wanna think about how you're gonna make it visually interesting. Here I added some. Somebody said they made icing in there, so I try to make it look a little more like snow. And then I felt that kind of had to look like a cup. Uh, presents, very simple rectangles, kind of like this here. Rectangle or square. And then the T that's open in the center is going to kind of fill up and make it look like ribbons. All right. So you figure out what you want to add to yours here. I started by coloring my background first. And then I'll go in and I'll think about what I want to do for my colors of my train. Here I used oil pastel and I smeared it. Somebody showed me theirs and I loved the way the gray looked. It kind of gave it a three dimensionality. So I'll probably work that in somewhere there too. All right, so the beginning, where I go from here will be up to me. I will make up my mind as I go along, just like you will. This is sort of the blank canvas for me to get started. Now I have to decide where is my train going to, okay? All right, have some fun.